Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to EU4 as Zorastria. Now you'll notice we're a bit further in time, I have lost some borders. Effectively what happened here is just poor play on my part, and I let a uh, coalition get the better of me. But fortunately, uh, while that was happening, the Ottomans and Iraq went to war with each other over Akkoinlu, and that gave me an opening to finally cut Iraq down to size. And I'm going to do that, though uh, the Ottomans are also much, much, much more uh, interested in devouring my blood. Also, for some inexplicable reason... Oh, wait, no, never mind. That was... At, for, for, at some point, the Ming decided to rifle me for some reason. I have no idea why, but they did, so that was a thing. Oh, God. They... Yeah, they're just gonna hate me no matter what, so I suppose I might as well just give up on life and hope for the best. Also, I finally got Tiberistan under control as a result of the whole war situation and general death and despair created on my part, so that's good. All right, we can also embrace uh, this, which we might as well do now, just so we can take care of this. And this, and we we should honestly upgrade our uh, diplomacy, but I really want to get this. No, oh, we are actually ahead on that. There we are. Yeah. The whole coalition thing really messed me up. I actually had to go back a bit. Compared to where we were, and yeah. Anyway, but the general lesson has been learned, so hopefully I don't make the same stupid mistakes again. Wait, what's this? Fyodoro declared independence? My god. Oh. It, that's, uh... Probably not gonna end too well for them, but at least it gives me an opportunity to do something. Hmm. Now, my real question to myself is, do I... Um, go to war of Crimea as well. And the Ottomans are really mad at me, so I don't know if I really want... I mean, Bosnia. What's going on over here? Oh, little one province Bosnia. Poor Bosnia. They're all by themselves. They basically have no chance. I mean, no chance at all. Didn't I? Oh, I did. Okay, and I can still actually afford that. Okay, good. So we're not too far behind. We're a little behind, but we're not too far behind on where we should have been, which is good. And the reason I didn't show all this uh, me getting destroyed on camera is because I don't think I handled it well enough to be worth showing, you know? I mean, not that I'm opposed to showing my ass getting handed to me, it's just, uh, I don't think I made for very entertaining commentary, so I figured it would be better for all involved if I just left that on the cutting room floor and carried on as we are now. Probably for the best. Probably. Alright, so Iraq is busy doing that while we're completely destroying them. Gen Genoa declared war on Crimea. Good for them. I should declare war on Crimea, probably. Let's see here. Rival of our rival. Kazan. What are the odds that I'm actually going to be able to get Kazan to love me? Uh, all right. Moderately. Moderately. The odds are moderately, which is not correct grammar, but oh well. Who cares? I don't. Anyway. Yeah, so let's, uh, we'll full siege down Iraq. Let's see how... And to bear stands looking okay. I mean, they're on my side. I, as you can see, I had to pump a bunch of development into them in order to get their uh, autonomy down, or disloyalty down, or whatever, but uh, at the end of the day, everything worked out. So that's really the only thing that matters to me. Can I fight Iraq? Probably. That seems like it would be a good idea. Uh, lose a bunch of money, or lose some monarch points. Well, money is easy to get a hold of. And, naturally, Monarch points are a bit harder, so... Yes. Alright. 
and our general is dead. Apparently there's a general I wasn't using, but that's kind of unfortunate nonetheless. We may get a crossing penalty. What's their leader got? He has zero maneuver, we have free maneuver, so I think that means we'll miss the crossing penalty. Yes, yes it does. If only I had stack wiped them. Oh, now I'm gonna stack wipe them. There we go. That'll teach those arrogant bastards what it means to ally the Ottomans and generally make a nuisance of yourself. Yes. Yes, indeed. Muscovy. Oh. You know, if Muscovy wasn't a rival of Poland, I would probably just go ahead and ally... What the heck? Perm? What are you doing over here? No, if I can, I should actually ally Kazan. Because I'm probably not going up here. And Kazan and the Oirat kind of sandwich Bukhara in, who are, is my hated rival. So, yeah. And we are going to have to go back and finish off Persia and the Timurids. And at some point also annex to Baristan so that my borders do not look ugly as sin. So, that's an important thing. What's going on over here? You know what? You go home at war so you don't get killed, if you don't mind. And let's see here. I mean, I'm going to have to be really careful here because I really cannot afford to let the Ottomans... Like, if the Ottomans are leading a coalition against me, then God help us all. Why am I saying that I'm friendly towards the Ottomans? I'll be neutral towards them at best. Actually, let's take a quick look at the whole military situation. The Ottomans have 101,000 men, or the capacity to get up to 101,000. What about Poland, Lithuania? How are those fellows doing? Hopefully they're doing good. I mean, they fought Muscovy just now, so hopefully they won and got some cool land for themselves. Let's see. Lithuania has 31 to 37, almost no manpower. Wonderful, because Poland sucks at managing these things, currently. And let's see. Poland has 17 to 27, no manpower. Okay, so basically, absolutely useless to me, is what you are. Since you hate Poland, there's no way you're going to be my friend. And Hungary is actually doing really well for itself. In fact, have they, uh, whoa, zoomed in a bit too much there. No, that's always belonged to Hungary. Oh, boy. I need friends is what I need. If I could, if I could somehow convince the Ming to ally me. That would pretty much be the be-all, end-all. Uh, you're probably never going to join me. Gujarat is doing really well for itself. Lucistan is getting eaten by... Like, you know, now that I look back on this, I have lost a lot of territory here. That saddens me greatly. Oh well. Such is life. Why are we only 98% instead of 100%? Is it because of this one little blockade? I have to assume that's what's causing this problem. Which is a little silly. Alright, so the key thing to make sure that the Ottomans do not hate me forever and ever and ever is to make sure I don't take land they want. So, let's see. Mosul, Sherazor, Baghdad. So, basically a line like this. Okay. Okay. I think I can figure this one out. You know what? I'm going to keep the war going until... I finish my mission to befriend Zahn. Or is it 99%? What, what am I missing? They have 6,000 men somewhere in the world. They have a province I don't know about? Oh, right. Najd is in this war. That's why. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Just randomly lose some war exhaustion. I probably should have watched that to see if I really needed to lose that war exhaustion, but oh well. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Yeah, you just sit there. That'll that'll be good for now. How am I doing? We're doing moderately well. We'll pick up one more infantry, I think. And then we shall just sit and relax. Yep. Sitting and relaxing. Alright. Well, we're getting there. Uh, Crimea caught me spying on them. That's always unfortunate. Only 82%. This is... Uh, am I gonna have to bribe them? Is that what it's gonna come down to? Me bribing them in order to get what I want? I can fabricate a claim? I could, but I'm not going to. Let's just, uh... Work on... 
Oirat declared war on the Timurids. Oh. Okay. Ottomans declared war on the Mamluks. Oh, God. Help us all. Especially me. Especially me. Oh, boy. Uh, so, oh, well. When life gives you lemons, gotta make lemonade or something. Oh, I can just Royal Mary Kazan. That'll do it. There we go. All right, so I could probably ally them, which means... Where's Tarek? Eh, what the heck? Why not? I mean, they're not allied with anyone. They're just being warned by a couple of people. All right, we'll go to war with them, then with Crimea, who is getting completely wrecked over here. And generally speaking, life should be good. That makes me happy. Very happy indeed. Okay. So this, 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 this. Actually, just you watch. Iraq is just gonna go ahead and ally uh, the Ottoman skin immediately after this war. Just you watch. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so the Ottomans apparently don't care that much. Or at least it won't be enough. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, that's pretty bad. Okay, so how do I want to set this up? Well, these forts, frankly, are... I generally don't like forts because they're expensive and stuff to maintain, but probably in my interest to hold on to them. Let's uh, grant Bandar Lagesh, or Langa. Langa? Langa. Yeah. Butchering that no matter how I say it. I'll try, but it's not going to work. And you know what? I might as well keep the rest for myself. Why not? Oh god, that's expensive. Probably worth it, though. Probably worth it. Alright, overall, very good. Everyone's happy. I'm good with how this is turning out. Alright. And Iraq is no longer a valid rival. Jolly good. Alright, who do I want to rival? Obviously the Ottomans. <laughs> I kid. That would be... Dumb as a sack of potatoes to do. So I guess I will... Eh, Hungary, why not? I mean, Hungary probably doesn't even know who the heck I am. They're just like, eh, some random guy from across the sea decided to... Or from the other side of the Mediterranean and other regions of the world. Someone who's not even in Europe decides to rifle us. All right. You know what? Maybe I won't go fight Kriyamiya right now. I'll just take Terek and... Or Terek, however I properly pronounce that. And then we'll come back in here. We'll take out Persia. We'll... I mean, the big problem is that Delhi is inexplicably protecting them. For some reason. They have their reasons, I guess. Annoying reasons, but reasons nonetheless. You know? Wait I thought, uh, thought Circassia was on your side. Apparently not. Alright, well. Yeah, it is what it is. Life and stuff. Alright. Oh, there's all this Golden Horde stuff up there. Gross. I don't want that. I don't want to deal with this at all. That's annoying. Alright, can I walk over there? I cannot. Alright. Well... I only want it the one province anyway, so I guess that'll do. All right. I mean, Delhi actually likes me. The Ottomans hate me and will for the rest of time. But just so I can keep an eye on that, I'm going to waste a diplomat for a hundred million years on taking care of that. We'll turn off our forts for now. Wow, I'm already at 16%. Hmm. Do I just sit here and wait? Do I ask for access through Crimea? I guess I'll access... Or ask for access. Why not? Alright, now they have zero men. I don't know if they'll actually be able to afford some men. I, I, I imagine the answer to that will be no. So I'm just going to get rid of most of our army here. And have them just keep an eye on things down here. Has Iraq re-allied the Ottomans yet? No. That works out for me, I guess. Mostly. 
Yeah, I'll just maintain that. Yeah, there there it goes again. Ming keeps randomly rivaling. Ri don't, just don't try. You can't talk. It's too early in the morning. Don't worry about it. All right, so here we go. I don't really know what's the deal with, uh, with the Ming. They hate me for some reason. I don't know what I did to them, but, you know, they don't like me. And we'll cancel this. And how are we doing with relations? Let's actually go over this entire situation, shall we? We have Poland, Kazan, Oirat, and Tiberistan. You know what? I should suck up to... Oh, wow. Just three admin points for being an awesome person, apparently. The best kind of points. There we go. Lop that up. And let's, let's suck up to our good friends here. Just to make sure that they love me forever and ever. There we go. Alright. All is going well over here. After we take this province, we're just gonna leave this side of the world for probably forever. Because I really don't want to deal with the Ottomans. Though, I, I figure the way things are gonna go, we're eventually going to blob out and we'll probably be able to fight the Ottomans ourselves. Who are the Ottomans allied with, anyway? Tunis and... Oh. Go screw yourself, Bukhara. Alright. I mean, sometimes that's just life, isn't it? Um, alright, I'm never gonna make the Ottomans like me, so I guess I shouldn't try. That's the real lesson, really. Never try. Alright. And give me some of that. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. So now we have yet another awesome new province. Life is treating us as well as can be expected. Wow, that's also a really expensive province. It's only a 10 development. I don't think that's worth 100 points, but alright. Yeah, we could just sit here peacefully for a little while. Just for a little while. And we're in no rush. I mean, we do want to get into India. We probably should start annexing Tiberistan at this point. I mean... You know what? That's probably a good idea. Have I lost the Diplo loss from... Or the, uh... I've lost the penalty for having annexed our other vassal, so let's uh, go take care of that. And, alright, Oirat. My goodness. But you know what? I like the idea of a strong Oirat, because they're my ally, so I don't really want my allies being weak, now do I? You know what? I should actually turn these forts on, because we're going to get rebels, aren't we? It's all Iraqi separatists. So, it'll be kind of rough for a while. But overall, I think we're good. Probably. I and mean, we're in a bit of a worse situation because the Ottomans are actually, I mean, they're getting into the Mamluks and they're actively trying to kill us, or at least they're actively showing an interest in killing us, which is always very scary. Uh, I'll bump you up, I think. Really good. And they're cl fabricating claims on me. So, you just know, I'm probably their next target, if I had to guess. And that scares me, a lot. And the Ming are, again, being assholes for some inexplicable reason. Oh boy. Safeguard Eastern Anatolia. Okay, so that means that they're probably gonna... I wonder who's stronger. Hmm. No, based on the current balance of power that I'm seeing here, I have a suspicion, I could be wrong, but I have a suspicion that the Ottomans probably are going to see me as the weaker of, like, all the possible angles they could conquer into. Unless they go to war with the Hejaz. I don't know. Of course, you know what? I should go to war with Hassa. I mean... I do want to try cutting off the Ottomans as much as possible. If and where I can. I mean, I'm not really going to be able to fight the Ottomans until probably... Probably not until, like, the 16 or 1700s, if... If, indeed, this game lasts that long. Oh, sweet! I can actually upgrade and become a duchy. Or a kingdom, rather. Sweet! How much development does Tiberistan have, anyway? I wonder. Holy cow, we're actually fourth in terms of great powers. That's pretty cool. I think we'll bump all the way up to second or third. 
Probably third, if I had to guess, because, you know, there's still the Ming who haven't imploded. Ah, right, we also have an extra guy to do stuff with. Are you still being guaranteed by Delhi? You are. Stupid Delhi. Uh, my next target should probably be Persia, looking at this. Since, clearly, Persia has a bone to pick with me for some, some reason or another. Uh, let's see here. They're all randomly insult Hungary. Why not? I mean, they didn't do anything to deserve it, but I'll do it anyway. Because I want power protection. Power, power projection. Oh, why can I never talk? I have a fat tongue, as I frequently use as an excuse. Alright, you just know they're gonna suck up, or they're gonna ally the Ottomans. How far off are we? There's more Persian separatists. Wonderful. Uh, we have... Did I get in a war with Persia before the separatists fire? It's conceivable. Yeah, you know what? Might as well. Why the heck not? And we'll also, uh, where are these Persian separatists gonna fire? What are you? You are a Khorasani separatist, so you're gonna pop somewhere down here, and allegedly it's gonna be 18,000 of you. Oh boy, Tiberistan is really big and powerful. This scares me and generally doesn't make me feel good about myself. Let's suck up to Bahamanis. This is a random thing here. It's gonna take a while to get into India is what I'm realizing at this point. I thought we were just gonna, like, rush this, but the current political situation is not advantageous to us actually doing that, so things are gonna be interesting for a while, as they always are. All right, let's uh, get this war in before they have a chance to do anything that they'll regret. And when I say they'll regret, I mean I'll regret. All right, jolly good. Just kill them. Please kill them. Don't make me regret this. All right, you know what? You just uh, you just sit there and finish uh, or and recover. There we go. Tavaristan will take care of it for me. All right. Let's see here. Where are these Persian separatists coming from? Right here, apparently. Oh, please tell, don't tell me they're all going to pop on that one province. That would generally not be good for my... My liking. Herman, Tehran, and Dashistan. Dashistan. Da oh, right there. Where, what was the third one again? Tehran. Where is Tehran? Oh, right there. But they've got a fort. That'll be fine. Probably. It's conceivable that it'll be okay. Or so I think. Alright. Well... We don't have a military idea. Yo, you know what? I am further behind than I thought I was. A lot further behind. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Kazan wants to go to war with them. They promise us land. Oh hell yes. How's this looking? I mean, they're promising me land. I can't say no to that. You know what? Um... Bear Stan, you're on your own for a moment. I have war and stuff to do, so see you in a moment. You bastards. How dare you. Of course, it's my own fault for not having forts and stuff, but again. Forts and stuff. Yes. All right, let's uh, let's uh, keep uh, cranking up the hits, shall we? Oh, wait. F did Fiodoro escape? Did they? Oh, they did. What do you know? Good for you, Fiodoro. That's hilarious, and I mean, I guess that's sort of like a no hard feelings kind of situation where they let them go, but then they, I guess, parted as friends or something. That's always, that's always a happy ending. Anyway, I think we'll wrap this episode up here, so until the next time, thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.